Hi guys, welcome back to Bunny Brook Designs. I'm Cindy, and so I couldn't wait to get started um, working with the bargain bead box um, for this month, Falling Leaves. So I started playing with the design here, and it's just a start to it, because I figured we could design this together. But I kind of like this look, and I'm going to use both of these pendants together to make a focal. So the idea is, is I'm going to wire wrap this one, this stone, because the, I don't know if you can see that, but the hole goes through, um, the center there. And so it's, it's not really conducive to hooking onto, um, wire. So what I figured I'd do is I've got a piece of scrap wire here from something else and it's a little bent. So I am going to kind of clean it up a little bit here. And it's square wire. It doesn't really matter. You can use square or round. Um, this is, just happens to be the piece of scrap that I had. And I'm going to quickly wrap this and see if I like it. And if I don't, then I can always undo it because again, it's, it's scrap wire. So all I'm doing here, and I'm going to move my camera down a little bit, is I'm just bending this in trying to get it to be a nice rounded shape. Um, I don't want it to be super big, but I also don't want it to be so tight that, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hang. So I've crisscrossed them there and it's about center. So that looks good. And it does have a little bit of movement. I am going to take a pair of pliers if I can find them here and just bend this first one up just to make it my base and I'm just gonna do a wrap and I'm just wrapping and I'm gonna do it just twice like that get it around to the back and then I am just going to cut it off and then I'm going to use my flat pliers and tuck that end in toward the center and make sure there's no st sticky bits now you can also file this if it's sharp. It's a little sharp, but because I'm going to be covering it with this wire, that's fine. Now, I'm debating whether I want to wire this on directly there or if I just want to make the round loop and kind of hang it on so that it's um so that it's there. Now, I could just take and do something fun with this because I could hook a jump ring right through the center of this and hook it. So if I were to go through this, and again, here here goes my changing of my mind, because I do want it up like that. So I could put my jump ring up there, and then I could take this wire and maybe do a little loop and make something fun with it. So let's see, what do I want to do with that? Um, well, first I'm going to bend it back this way a little bit because I think what I want to do is actually let's bend it to the side. I want to create a tiny, tiny little loop here or do I? Nope. We're just going to bend it to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend this to the side and kind of make a swirl. So I bent it one direction, now I'm bending it in the other. And I'm just gonna make a swirl. And that swirl's gonna sit nicely there. And then I'm just gonna bend this back around behind and 
Do I like that or do I want a bigger piece of wire? I don't know if I like that. Um, I like having the swirl. I just don't know if it's long enough. That's the problem. It's not long enough for what I want to do. So I am going to cut. And this is the beauty of designing on the fly. If you change your mind, you can always cut out the design. And just pull that out. All right, I'm going to get a bigger piece of wire and I think this time I'm going to use 20 gauge round wire just because it's a little bit thinner than my square. And let's try this again. All right. And I think what I'm going to do this time is fold these over completely there and I'm going to make a loop on this. And then what I can do here is um, I'm going to come around once more. And then I'm going to come in front for now. And then I'm going to take this and I am going to make a small little loop here. And when I say small, I mean very small. I just want enough to get a jump ring in. And this is where it gets tricky because I have this wire that I'm trying to keep out of the way. So I'm just bringing it around and I am going to shrink that loop up and because it's small and I'm trying to make this loop super small, um, basically the end of my pliers there, I am just going to pull that and tighten it around the pliers there. And again, I am going to just wrap that once I think around that to make it a nice loop and then that should fit should if I can get it in here so while I'm what I'm trying to do is just to see if I like that as far as the way it hangs It's a little lower than I want, but it's still it's still within the design that I want. So now let's finish the wire. I don't know what I want to do with this little piece, so I am just going to leave him off to the side. Um, and then this round one, I think I'm going to come up. I'm going to do a loop right there in front of the 
wire and then I'm going to come around and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do a loop there and then wrap back up just so it's a cute little wrap and then what I may do is I'm going to cut this. I've decided I don't need this. So I'm going to cut this and then just tuck it in back. So what I'm going to do is just kind of pinch it and turn it a little bit and then tuck it right in here. Just trying to move that loop out of the way. There. Close that loop up. And then I am going to end this with, and let me straighten that back out again. I want to do another loop and I want to do it there just so it has a couple of loops and then I am going to bring this up and I am just going to wrap it around the little top of the bale. I am going to cut it off in the back here. And then I'm going to turn, I'm gonna use my round nose this time. And I'm gonna curl that. And I'm just gonna tuck that in so it's out of the way. So we have a little pendant now that can be attached to the gold leaf. And so I think that looks cute and it's gonna hang and it's fine if it doesn't hang quite perfect because I did want it to be a falling leaf. And then that is gonna set right in there. All right, I'm gonna pause you, I'm gonna grab some wire, and we're gonna get started on this part. All right, guys, I'm back. So I grabbed some beetle on, and I grabbed it in satin gold, because I figured it would, it would hide better in this um, color scheme. Now, I don't believe I have any gold or copper crimp beads so that's probably going to be, that's going to be an issue. Um, and I don't have any rose gold, so I'm going to probably have to use, I have crimp tubes, but they're huge for copper, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to have to use gold in that. And hopefully it's, you know, not really seen that much, so it won't be an issue. Um, something I need to get copper crimp, crimp, uh, beads or rose gold. All right. So I'm going to start by making sure this jump ring is a hundred percent tightened up just because I don't want this opening up and having the pendant fall off. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, maybe double up on jump rings, but I'm not going to. Um, I could put chain through that. The possibility of, you know, clipping on a chain, but I think that'll be fine. Um... The one thing you can do is take your wire 
and just see it's not going to go anywhere. It should be fine. I tried pulling it through. It's not coming through. So it should be good. And again, I don't know how this is going to look until I string this on, but I did know that this, I thought this was a fun section for a focal. Now I may just do this as a focal and end up putting chain on the rest of this to make a very simple yet elegant pendant. Now I'm just doing the other side. Ooh. And I kind of like just that as a design. I may crimp that and do, I'm just thinking here, I'm going to hold it up to me to see what I think. Hmm. All right. What do you think, guys? I might need to think on this for a bit. Because I like that. All right. Let's see. If I were to, because I don't have very many of those. And... I don't know. No, we're just going to do chain. I've decided this is going to be a very simple, very elegant um, and we're going to do the rose gold chain. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to take a length of chain and I'm just going to cut it here. All right, let me measure. And I'm just going to cut it. And take my piece. So what I'm going to do is instead of crimping it on a jump ring and then I'm going to crimp it on the chain and I'm going to crimp both sides and then I'm going to cut the chain and put the clasp on. This way we have a very simple yet very elegant necklace with a leaf focal. All right. And the beauty of this is I didn't use a whole lot of this wire, so I can use this for another necklace. Um, there we go. Oopsie. So that's one thing you don't want to do is get your chain 
tangled in your wire. And again, you don't want to make it too tight, but you don't want to have it too loose either. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try tightening this up by holding on to the whole thing and pulling and then pushing and then pulling and seeing because again I don't want I don't want it to be super tight but I also don't want it to be so loose that the there you can see the wire and I'm so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go in between and come out where the focal is just because that should have a little bit of space and I think it'll be easier to tighten up without There. Perfect. There's a little bit of space, but not so much that I'm just going to crimp that. And then we can cut that. I need my small. we go all right so there's the necklace now you're you're probably wondering what am I gonna do to get the the um, toggle clasp on and all I'm gonna do is I am going to find the center of this by just keeping it even and finding my center bead or my center chain and then just cutting that and that will get me my and this one's welded together interesting so I'm also going to cut that right there and get that section of chain off because it looks like this section of chain is was melted together I knew I felt that and I'm just gonna hold it up and make sure it's level and there is another piece of chain here that is damaged so I'm gonna have to cut that section off as well um, unfortunately so now I'm gonna have to adjust my length which is fine um, by about the same number of chains Which is fine, I can still use those pieces um, elsewhere, but that means I'm going to have to add in a extender chain, which means I'm going to have to use a um, toggle clasp, or I'm going to have to add these two items back on with a jump ring, which you can because now I can make it a part of the the visual and maybe put in but just to see I'm going to put if I can get the jump ring to go on it's a very small jump ring so I just want to see with the toggle clasp how tight it is and if it's going to be too tight, then what I will do 
is I will add more chain and do a lobster claw on this one. And again, I'm not doing this perfect because I don't want it to be a pain if I have to undo it. Because I do like the simple elegance of this necklace. Um, and actually, I've got a dinner tonight that would make this one perfect with the outfit that I'm wearing. All right, I just want to temporarily do that just to see how tight that's going to be. And that's going to be too tight. All right, that's going to be too tight. And I do like the toggle clasp. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make an adjustment to this and add additional chain with those jump rings and then put the toggle clasp on just because it doesn't hang low enough for my liking. So any of you that gets the bead, the bargain bead box, um, just be aware that some of them, the chain may be welded together and it's part of it's unusable. So it's unfortunate, but it happens. All right, what did I do with those pieces? There's one. And I am going to try to tighten this up a lot more just so it's barely noticeable. And we'll do that for this side and get the jump ring. And see, that's got a section that's not right either. All right. So we're just going to cut a section. The same length. And now the reason why I'm using jump rings to connect these instead of just using the pieces that I cut, um, this chain is very thin and I would be concerned that um, having cut it, it would end up coming apart and I don't want it to fall apart. So I'm using sturdier jump rings to connect
but because they're small, they're going to be negligible um, when noticed. And that's much better. With the toggle clasp, that'll work perfectly. I am going to get some bigger jump rings out of my stash, I think. Slightly bigger jump rings. Are those slightly bigger? Again, I don't do I don't have a whole lot of copper because usually I do wire wrapping with copper um, and my rose gold, so I don't have a ton of jump rings um, there. Those aren't big enough. And so what I'm doing, guys, off camera here is I'm digging through my stash to see what I've got um, for jump rings. And I got a couple of bigger ones there. Those look much better. The one thing, if you're new to jewelry, um, that you can never have too much of Jump rings, head pins, and findings. Ear wires. I don't know how many times I've been in the middle of a project and realized I'm running out of something and have to drop what I'm doing, go to the store, and get supplies. So I like to keep a bunch of everything on hand. All right, those work a little bit better. And actually they are rose gold compared to copper, so they're a little lighter. See. All right. Let's see. Testing it on. Oh yeah, that's gonna hang quite nicely, right where I want it to. All right. So there is number one from the bargain bead box for the month of September. All right, so that, I think I'm going to end this here because this is getting quite long. We're already at 30 minutes, 30 plus minutes. So why you got your, you got your wire wrap pendant, um, what to do when you have messed up wire and, or messed up chain and how to fix it because that's really barely noticeable there. Um, and got yourself a really nice, elegant little design. So... Let me know what you think in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.